If you're looking to add high-res digital streaming to your sound system, the Rotel S14 is an excellent choice. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm a writer here at Crutchfield, and I'm going to talk to you about the Rotel S14 integrated amplifier and streamer. I've had the opportunity to use most of the integrated amplifiers that Rotel has provided over the years, and this one fits into their lineup in a very specific way. Usually with their amplifiers, you'll see lots of inputs and outputs for your analog devices. This one is really intended to make your digital files sound their best. Uh, it is mostly going to have uh, digital inputs and outputs, and like there's no phono input, uh, none of those things that you're used to. The great news is that you can use this as a streaming component with the rest of your Rotel system if you wish to. For starters, this does have built-in power. It's got about 80 watts per channel uh, if you're using your 8-ohm speakers. If you want to go all the way down to 4 ohms, then you get a little bit more power efficiency out of it as well. This is a Rotel amplifier, so you have that hand-wound toroidal transformer inside providing that power. So even though 80 watts is not the highest amount of power that Rotel has ever given us, you can rest assured that it is very efficiently delivered and it's going to drive your speakers very well. Probably the most important thing inside this amplifier is the Sabre DAC. Uh, which is a 24-bit, 384 kilohertz DAC, which uh, is designed to really open up those digital files that have been compressed and make them sound as good as they possibly can. There's some native streaming built in. You've got Chromecast, Spotify Connect, and Apple AirPlay 2. And for everything else, there's robust built-in Wi-Fi and high-quality Aptex Bluetooth. As I mentioned, this amplifier will work mainly with your digital files, so there is an Ethernet connection in the back. There is also a single Toslink optical connector and a coaxial connector as well. There's a Type A USB if you want to use your thumb drives, and then a Type B USB if you want to directly connect to your PC or your laptop. Good news is there is still a little bit of analog connectivity. There's a single RCA input and there's also an RCA output, which you can use as a preamp out. If you already have an established Rotel system, you can go ahead and use the power that's built into your other amp and just use this as a streamer. If you do want to use the power built into this unit, there are binding posts on the back to connect a pair of speakers. And you also have a subwoofer output for that extra bass that makes everything sound just that little bit better. If you've seen other Rotel amplifiers, you will notice something very different about this one the minute you look at it. There is a screen on the front which displays album art from anything that you're streaming. Uh, that's a really nice feature. I like being able to look up and see uh, the art that goes with the album, maybe the name of the artist and the title of the song, that kind of stuff. Most of the digital files that we listen to music on have been compressed, and one of the wonderful things that a streamer like this can do is that, that DAC opens them up and decompresses the files and restores them to the, their full glory, and that's something I really enjoyed. I like to listen to a lot of jazz music. I like to listen to uh, international artists. Uh, I like to listen to old classic rock, things that I'm very familiar with that we've all heard a million times. Uh, that's where a device like this really shines through is when you listen to something that you're familiar with and it brings it to new life. And that's something that the DAC inside of the S14 can really provide for you. If you have any further questions about the S14 or any other components you're looking at, please contact us. We'll be happy to help you out and help you make the right choice.